the artistry of medicine. Um, it's not just about the numbers and the grades. It's really about, that's almost the least important thing. That's what's expected as a professional. But to be special, to be great, it has to be the, the artist. It has to be who you are that comes out. How, when you go to a, a symphony concert and you hear a great violinist, what makes them a great violinist, a great artist? It's not they play perfectly in tune and they play all the notes right and they have all the right rhythms. That's not why you love a musician. You love him because, take Itzhak Perlman for example, he's very warm, very genuine, very honest and has a lot of guts. That's what you love, his personality comes through. And I think in medicine as well. Um, you're not going to love a doctor because he has an encyclopedic knowledge of diseases and he always makes the right decision and he can read an EKG. You're going to love him because, or her, because their personality comes out and they have a nice personality and understanding. I think that's where they, they connect the most for me. I mean, you can start with a scholarship, which is incredibly generous, but I'm more impressed just how nice they are. They invited me to take me out to dinner, and we saw a football games together. We're going to go to a basketball game, and um, they're just so supportive. They really are kind of surrogate parents, especially my being in Florida. I have all my families in Louisiana, and so it's really someone, people I can lean on, and um, people I can trust, really. I think every musician, especially when they get up to a certain level, loves the audience loves the pressure and uh, I have so much sort of love and respect for Dr. German. I'm just so glad she was there and all my professors and they, uh, you know, they see me in one form and I'm just happy. I don't know, it's just, you can't simulate that sort of jittery excitement that you get before a performance in front of people you care about. So it's nice.